Hello everybody, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you my latest album, which is Notre V, which is one of the Chow Bella collections. And if you go to the description and you click on the show more, you're going to first see the material list for this album, and then it's going to be followed by the cut list. So this is beautiful paper. So I did something really out of character for me. I chose this for the cover and I couldn't even embellish it. It is so perfect just the way it is. I didn't add anything. I tried to look at adding some flowers, but because the scale of the flowers that are in the print, I just couldn't pull it all together, and I love it so much, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I did add these metal embellishment corners, which are from Graphic 45, and I really like the way they finished this. And I, I looked at it for over a week to make sure I wasn't gonna embellish it, and I'm very happy with the way it looks. So that's the cover, and this is eight and a half by eight and a half by two and a half. The pocket pages inside are eight by eight. There's our spine. I didn't embellish this because I just love these fountain pens. I did add a little zest to the back. Um, these are all cut apart uh, bits. Um, the smaller ones are from the A4, and I think this is from the 12 by 12 collection. It's really easy to get the patterns mixed up when you open all the packs, so I'm, I'm not positive. But again, I did put a list of everything I used on um, the show more, so if you click on that, you'll see. Okay, I did a thin strip of the fountain pens here to separate these two images, and I think that turned out well. Here's another cut apart, and I used it to um, house my magnet. Isn't that pretty? And then inside, we've got a nice pocket more cut aparts that I cardstock or or um, backed with designer paper. In this case, it's the front and back <clears throat> of that cut apart. And then this one I didn't do anything with because I, I wanted to uh, leave the postcard uh, face up. Right here I've got two cut aparts that are um, attached to the flap as a little tuck spot for some journaling ephemera cards. Um, for each one of the large inserts for the pocket page, I've got a one and a half inch strip that will create this sort of consistency when the pages uh, cascade down. And again, that's one and a half inch strip on each one of them, both sides. So you get the effect both ways. This is a simple uh, five by seven finished flap, which is perfect for placing a four by six photo and then having a nice border all the way around it. And then I coordinated the pattern down here. So you see that twice. Here I created another little tuck spot so that you can, you know, essentially place, uh, let me see if I've got a smut. There we go, here's a four by six panel. You can uh, tuck your four by six in there if you want to. And then here's a four by six. So you see you, you get a nice border all the way around it. Okay, and uh, I wanna, I did not go over uh, building this. These are cut aparts from the A4 pack and then just layered. And then here we've got what I, I call a flip flop. So it flips this way and then it flips this way, also known as an accordion. This is one of the cut aparts and then this is from the A4 that's just a, a quick little tuck spot. And then I placed a little stamp here and it's open-ended so that you can tuck your photo slightly behind it if you so desire. I'm not going to pull out each one of the inserts. They're all the same, that one and a half inch border on both sides. And then here's page four and five. This is a pocket right here that has an insert. And I did list the insert side size in the cut list. And I believe it's four by six. Okay, and that opens up. And this opens up. Isn't that pretty? I love this paper. And I did essentially the same thing over here. So we've got uh, an insert. And this is a pocket on top of a flap. And then it opens and opens. So there's a lot of photo space in the center of your book. Okay, we've got this flip little cut apart stamp here. And then it goes this way. And I've got another element from the, sorry, A4 right here. And then two five by seven flaps. This is a cut apart from the A4 collection. And so is this, uh, actually, this is not from the A4. This is from the 12 by 12. I can tell by the print that's on the back. And then just another simple flap down here. 
I think this bird is beautiful. I didn't want to further embellish it because I felt like that is the, the, the focal point of the page. And you can still get a 4x4 four four down here. Okay. Two stamps and a little tuck spot. And then we've got this nice big pocket. We've got a double sided, so there's plenty of room for journaling or a photo on the back. <clears throat> and this is just cardstock back, so you could write on it or add a photo. And then this is perfect for journaling as well. And it's got a beautiful image on the other side. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Notre V. I think it turned out beautifully, and I love this image. It's frameable. It looks like a painting. It very much looks like it's done in watercolor. It's very beautiful. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. If you could just take a minute to like, share, and subscribe, it really helps us a lot. By liking the video, it helps uh, promote us uh, in YouTube and that when we rise in YouTube, that means we're going to be presented to more like more like-minded crafters. So we can uh, get a, more eyeballs on our project. So we really appreciate it if you take time to do that and leave a comment. Um, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I love to hear feedback from you guys. So if there's something that you want to see that you haven't seen yet, or um, a paper collection that you'd like me to feature in one of these projects, so long as it is Graphic 45, Chow Bella, or Stamperia, we'll do our best to get those projects out there. We really want to gear this channel toward the community and share with you projects that you want to see. So thanks again for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. My next project is going to be Aesop's Fables, and I'm really excited about it. So I'll see you guys soon.